How I got a faster metabolism, but spoiler alert, it's not an instant skinny tea or diet. Instead, it was lifestyle changes that were aimed at having a healthier mindset. I want to preface this video by saying the most important thing of my entire health journey is how confident I feel in my body and with my relationship with food. I personally feel like I've improved my metabolism because I not only eat more, but I also can like eat what I want without necessarily gaining a lot of weight or having my weight fluctuate as much as it used to. And when I say used to, I will dive a little bit into my past and why I believe I had a damaged metabolism. I had struggled with an eating disorder from the age of 15. 15, and for the first two years, I was extremely restrictive and just wasn't eating enough for my body. When I started to try to eat normally again and fix my relationship with food, I gained a significant amount of weight, which by the ways I needed to gain, but at the time I just felt so uncomfortable with my body. I lacked self-confidence and I just hated it. With that said, and given that background, you can probably understand why I believe I had a damage metabolism because when you go through an extended period of time of under eating or being in an extreme caloric deficit or even if you're in a caloric deficit for too long your metabolism adapts to it and in turn it just slowed down and when I finally started eating normally again I put on a lot of fat rather than you know muscle mass and I think that's like a normal process of recovering from an eating disorder so if you are in that phase of your life or your health journey where you were restricting and then now all of a sudden you're gaining a lot of weight that's kind of what happens and that's why I'm such an advocate for not restricting because in the long run it just really kind of messed up my body's natural process and I should have just eaten normally from the get-go. So. so the first thing I knew I had to do if I wanted to improve my metabolism was to gain muscle. And this is because muscle mass burns more calories at a rested state than fat does. Honestly, like living with my boyfriend taught me this because watching him eat and having him need to eat so much food kind of confused me because he's such a lean guy but it's because he has so much muscle mass and because he's predominantly muscle and that muscle requires so much food in order to sustain itself <laughs> But what are the ways you can gain muscle? So how I did it is I started with two to three times strength training every week. In fact, strength training two to three times a week burns more fat than people who just do cardio. Besides strength training, you also need to consume more protein in order to gain muscle. So that is the second thing I had to do in order to improve my metabolism. But of course, protein doesn't just aid muscle mass. There's also something called the thermal effect of food. So when you consume food, your body has to expend some energy in order to digest it. Protein requires the most energy for your body to digest out of the three macronutrients, which is protein, fats, and carbs. Protein takes more energy to break down and can raise your metabolism by 15 to 30%. Another thing that really helped me was realizing when I started to prioritize protein in my meals, I also felt more satiated and fuller for longer. On that note, you shouldn't just be obsessed about the one macronutrient of protein. Another thing that I had to realize for myself and what helped me is balancing my overall plates when I had meals. And I think this was another key to improving my metabolism was eating consistently and eating consistently balanced meals because these meals would keep me satiated but also provided me energy and overall didn't make me feel like I would crash or get extremely hungry and binge. Another way to increase your metabolism is to essentially burn more calories and how you can do that is through exercise. However, I want to emphasize that you should prioritize exercise that feels enjoyable. For example, I personally hate running, so instead I've really gotten into using my Freebie X-Bike to get in some cardio. Honestly, the reason I love my Freebie X-Bike is because all the Freebie workouts are immersive experiences with world-class instructors. The bike has adjustable magnetic and belt-driven resistance with a rotatable HD 22-inch touchscreen. Their vibe-synced classes always get me in a good mood, and it's perfect for all ages. Even my 8-year-old cousin loved using the adjustable bike with my all-access access membership that can actually store up to 10 accounts. 
But back to why exercise can be so essential for improving your metabolism. Even a 10 minute or 30 minute walk every day can increase your total daily energy expenditure. And while I think it's so important to emphasize that you should never feel like you need to work out to compensate for something you've eaten, getting in some daily movement and increasing your energy expenditure just overall feels great and is great for your health. But I think that is one of the best tips I can give anyone is genuinely find exercise that you enjoy because yes, exercise is a great way to improve your metabolism because obviously if you're more active, you're gonna need more food, but I don't want it to be in the way of like, oh, I ate this, so I have to work out. No, exercise should be something you enjoy, you feel good from. I know that sounds like hard or impossible, but trust me one day, you will find something you genuinely love. And it's just more so about repairing your relationship with exercise or repairing your relationship with your body. But the biggest thing is it should never be like you're exercising in order to eat something. It's more so like you're exercising to feel good, to feel strong, to feel competent because you are. The next thing that everyone always talks about when they talk about their weight loss journey or their fitness journey is sleep. Sleep is so important for your metabolism, but also for regulating your hormones. When you have a disruption in your sleep, you can have a disruption in how your body produces these hormones. Specifically, I wanna talk about ghrelin, Ghrelin is the hormone that basically stimulates hunger and when you haven't slept well you tend to feel hungrier because your body produces more of this hormone. And while I'm all about listening to your body and intuitively eating and if you wake up one day after not sleeping well and you're more hungry that's okay it's important to listen to those feelings because this is your body obviously regulating itself saying we didn't get enough sleep I need more energy therefore you eat more energy. But at the same time, I think long-term, it can be unhealthy for recovery and how your body just repairs itself in its sleep. So especially if you're trying to gain muscle, if you're trying to just feel healthier, sleep is so important. <laughs> I know I say this, I'm like, I'm obviously not a saint myself. I definitely need to still work on my sleep schedule, but we've got this together, so. <laughs> Next, what really helped me repair my metabolism, I've talked about strength training and exercise through. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Before you leave, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to see you here again. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.